Let's try drawing a tan graph. Um, f of x is tan of 2x between 0 and 2 pi, as usual. So, if I'm graphing tan 2x, what are the transformations that are happening? I can't really talk about amplitude for tan because it goes to infinity up and to infinity down. But nevertheless, it can be dilated, either stretched vertically or compressed vertically. So I can still talk about that. Here, there's no number in front of my tan, so the vertical dilation hasn't changed. Um, there is a number here which is going to change the horizontal dilation. Just like in sine or cos, this affects the period. Now, the period of a normal tan graph is actually pi. Remember on the unit circle, it actually repeats every pi radians, every 180 degrees. So the graph is going to repeat periodically every pi, whereas the normal cos and sine graphs repeat every 2 pi. So for this graph, the period, instead of being 2 pi over this number, is actually going to be pi over this number. So let me go vertical dilation is 1. There's no change. It's not inverted or anything like that. But the period is going to be pi over this number, 2. I've got half the period, which means I'm going to have twice as many of the tan repeats within this range. If you prefer, this is horizontal dilation of a half. I've squashed it up to half its size horizontally. There is no horizontal shift and there is no vertical shift. They would be in here or out here. So horizontal shift and vertical shift are both zero. So this graph still has asymptotes. Now, just like the sine and cos graph, looking for intercepts and things, also for the asymptotes for the tan graph, I prefer to draw the graph and then write those things on, rather than work them out in advance. The textbook does have a formula for working out where exactly those asymptotes go. You can use it if you want to. I prefer just to draw the graph. So let me put in my axes. Make a nice little bit of room, I think. Alrighty. We are going from 0 up to 2 pi. I might even make that a bit longer, hey? So I can fit more in. So that's x, and this is f of x. So 2 pi, pi, pi on 2, 3 pi on 2. OK. The normal tan graph comes up to 0 and goes up to an asymptote at pi on 2. Starts down the bottom, goes through pi, tan of pi is 0 because it's the same as tan of 0, then goes up to here. I've got horizontal dilation of a half. I've got a period of pi on 2. So it's actually going to go up half there and then come up here and go up half. So already I can actually mark my asymptotes. My asymptotes are going to be here, twice as often. Um, let me try drawing a dashed line for my asymptotes. Just checking you can see that. Uh, so then the next one's going to be here. There's my next asymptote, and my next one and my last one. So instead of two asymptotes in this space, I've now got four because I'm squashing it up. I've halved the period. To try to describe those, I've got pi on four, 
and 3 pi on, maybe I should write that. So that's pi on 4, that's 3 pi on 4, that's going to be 5 pi on 4, and 7 pi on 4. Can you think of a way to write all of these asymptotes in one go? There's something for you to think about while I go ahead and draw the graph. So my tan graph is going to come up here through 0. It actually comes through pretty close to 45 degrees. Actually, it is 45 degrees. Why am I talking? Yeah, well, we'll just talk about degrees, all right? It's too complicated to think otherwise. Its gradient is 1 at that point, and then it's going to go up towards there. It's going to come up from the bottom, through at pi on 2, and then go back up towards the asymptote. And again, it's going to come up here, through pi, and back up to this one. And again, like sine and cos, you will get better at drawing these curves with practice. And I do have to draw the next one, coming up to 2 pi. So that's what my graph looks like in this range from 0 to 2 pi. Have you thought at all yet about how we're going to describe where these asymptotes go? Well, they're at all the odd multiples of pi on 4. This would be 2 pi on 4. That's an intercept. So the intercepts are at the even multiples of pi on 4. Um, in fact, they're at every multiple of pi on 2. And the asymptotes are at the odd multiples of pi on 4. We can actually write that if we think carefully. So, intercepts, sorry, x-intercepts are at um, multiples of pi on 2, n pi on 2 for integer n, integers n. But what about those asymptotes? The asymptotes are going to be, they're vertical lines, so they're going to be x equals something, and they're going to be at x equals 2n plus 1 pi on 4, an odd multiple of pi on 4 for integers. That was an ugly member set membership sign for integers n. And this gives me these lines at odd multiples of pi on 4.